Hey, what's up? Today we'll be checking out some of the Star Wars Walmart exclusive Funkos. My name is Wayne and this is Wayne Co. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, ring that bell and become part of the Wayne Co. crew. Now, before we get into this and before we get these open with the new Star Wars movie coming out The Rise of a Skywalker now it is going to be the most expensive movie ever made which means even if you're not a Star Wars fan you might want to go check it out I mean we know it's going to have some theatrical stuff going on right but if you're not a Star Wars fan before we get into this I have made you a Star Wars survival kit this year all you're going to need is a few things in your life. You're going to need to know where the mute button is on your remote. So it's the speaker with a little circle drawn through it. You're going to definitely need to know where that's at. Because for the next month, all you're going to hear is Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. So learn where that button's at. Second, you're going to need some sort of a bandana. This is not, you know, to put on your head. This is to put right here. Because you're going to need that everywhere you go. Just in case of emergencies. Walmart entrance. Target entrance. GameStop. Anywhere and everywhere. It's going to have Star Wars everything. You're going to need that bandana also. Third, last but not least. You're going to need a good set of headphones. You're going to need these everywhere you go. Including your home. For the next month or so. So, if you're not a Star Wars fan. Remember, you need to know where that mute button is you need to know how to put the bandana over your eyes really fast and you need a good set of headphones just thought I'd help y'all out real quick now I picked up these Walmart exclusive Star Wars now they had three of them they had Princess Leia also but I, I didn't really want Princess Leia I picked up Dark Vader and Luke Skywalker let's get these things open up all right now that we're back to the right situation the odds are if you're still watching this, you're a Star Wars fan and you don't need that survival kit. But remember, if you aren't, you're definitely going to need that. Now, it's been a while since I've watched any of the Star Wars stuff. I probably didn't go past the third or fourth one, to be totally honest with you. And I'm going to watch this one, and I'm going to watch this one for a few different reasons. I'm going to watch this one because it comes out just a few days right at my birthday. It comes out right at my birthday. And it is the most expensive movie ever made. Now, that means it's probably going to be really good, really theatrical, really cool movie. Dark Vader is number 157 out of the group. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past 10 years, Disney bought Star Wars. I guess it's been, it's been, it's been a while now, but Disney bought Star Wars. So a lot of the things you see going on with Star Wars has a lot to do with the Disney influences going on. This box has a lot of gold chrome on it, which is super cool. I still wish that we would put another window, maybe on this side or on top, for the box toy collectors. That way, you know, it displays just a little better. I think for everybody growing up, Star Wars is, is probably a very iconic movie. Dark Vader, Luke Skywalker are very iconic characters in the movie. Hey. Let's take a closer look at this guy. Now this guy is never come out of the box. Upon first view of him though, he, he clearly has some blemishes right up under his helmet there. I don't know if that was from the packing or, or what happened there. I don't know that I like this stand that he's sitting on. It almost feels like it takes away from him a little bit. Other than that, it's a pretty cool Funko. To Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is 93 out of the collection. The back of these boxes don't have the series on there. That Walmart sticker. I don't know how I feel about those Walmart stickers. How about y'all throw a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel about their stickers. Let's get this guy opened up. Don't forget, guys, it's a... Uh, December 19th is when the new Star Wars is coming out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 
throw in some thumbs up, turn on those bell notifications, become part of the Wayne Co. crew, guys. I do this because y'all watch. I do this for y'all and my love for collecting toys. Alright, let's take a closer look at him. I like the Dark Vader, I don't see any paint blemishes right off the jump. I don't, once again, I don't really know how I feel about this stand though. I almost wish that the stand would have been separate and I could take him on and off, but I can't. I mean, they are attached to that. I mean, I guess I could heat up the glue or something and try and take that off. I like the Star Wars right up front though, but I just wish that he was detached from the stand. Really, I really like the finish they have on these guys. It's very different than what you normally see. And like I said, there's three of them. There was uh, Dark Vader, Luke Skywalker, and then Princess Leia. I didn't get Princess Leia. If I was going to get Princess Leia, I'd probably want her in a statue form or, or something like that. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Guys, my name is Wayne, and this is Wayne Co. Until next time, have a good one. Let's get these things opened up and take a closer look at them. throwing that guy around hey guys what's going on hey guys hey what's up today we have Star Wars Walmart exclusive Dark Vader and Luke Skywalker my name is Wayne and this is Wayne Co don't forget to hit that subscribe button throw in a thumbs up hit that bell note ring that bell become part of the Wayne Co crew my name is Wayne and this is Wayne Co so before we get into this really quick guys if you're not a Star Wars fan, I have put together a Star Wars survival kit for you. You're gonna need to know three things. You need three things. You're going to need 
to know where the mute button is on your remote. It's a speaker with a line drawn through it. You're definitely gonna need to know where that's at. Second, you're gonna need a bandana. It's not for your head though. It's so you can put over your eyes really fast if you're going in Target, GameStop, Walmart, any of those places. Because everywhere you go for the next month or so, it's gonna have Star Wars everything. Third, last but not least, you're gonna need a good set of headphones. Now this is just not for while you're at the gym or while you're doing an event. This is for your house because everything you watch on TV for the next month is gonna have Star Wars. Let's get these guys opened up guys, see what they look like.